Hello everyone, this is Shay. Tonight I'm joined by Axel. Hello, Axel. Hello. And we are back in the Fortress of Dwarves, the Dwarf Fortress. Where we last left off uh, was not good. It very quickly became winter. We don't have any proper farm set up. And we have a dwarf that's about to go crazy and kill everyone. So... Help Axel, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Uh, we've gotten fix. herself up the creek without a paddle here. No kidding. So, All right. so we left off the last episode. I was yeah. trying to get deep enough to get metal to deal with Mr. Crazy Pants. Um, I don't know how quickly I'll be able to get said metal. Yeah, see, what would have been nice is when the caravan came around, if we had a path and a proper depot, we could have actually sped the process up by purchasing some metals off of them. But they didn't come by, so. I think I need an uh, I don't think you can in, right? right? How do you make charcoal? Charcoal. I think that's an ashery. That's a good question. You can make it in an ashery. Needs Let's take a look here. Char... Hell. I don't think I can do it yeah, in a bit of a kill. still. Creating fuel. Wood does not burn hot enough as fuel. Do to do charcoal from wood. At a wood furnace. At a wood furnace. Where is a wood furnace? Yes. Probably in the same place you were looking. Build. So it's uh it's an actual uh, workshop. Oops. Yeah. So there might be more than one page. No, that's it. Oh, furnaces. E. Oh, there you go. A wood furnace. So we're going to want a wood there furnace. There you cook them with kerosene. And we'll get a smelter too because we're going to need that. some furnaces here. Uh, we should be doing some diggerinoing. There you go. Fortunately, those animals you have outside that are starting to grow up will provide an excellent source of meat, just so long as you don't go too quick. Gold opals, opal clusters. Wait, did you find gold? No, opals. Uh... Gems. All right, well, while they're doing that, I believe I had... Oh, oh no. no! We have a dead dwarf. We, we have our first Bong. dead dwarf. <laughs> Dehydrated. Oh, no. There's our first death. Where is he? I guess this leads to the next part of the game. Digging a grave. Oh, don't tell me he died in the middle of... The... Oh, no. <laughs> Just drop dead right there. Crap. Oh no. Yeah, you gotta haul his sorry ass out of there before he becomes a big purple miasma cloud. <coughs> no kidding. Um, we do need to put him to rest respectfully. Hey, you can just shove him down one of those holes you're digging out already so you don't distract the digging dwarves. I'm make... <laughs> a terrible person. We'll make I know. somewhere for them to properly rest. But most importantly, we need to actually construct a coffin. Alright, still, still. <clears throat> for drink from plant. Repeat. Okay. We'll get somebody making some drink. 
Here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Make drinks. So we ran go. off with some plants. There we yeah, go. no, no, we got somebody making drinks now. Ah, nice. Should probably tell them to stop making the plants available for eating, just to make sure that they don't eat the rest of your stock before you get a chance to do that. Um, I can't remember how to do that. Uh, I think if you go to the stockpile, you can probably say, okay, uh, I designate this as a no touchy or something like that. I think that, that was something. It's a restriction. Hold on. Burial receptacle. Needs got. I. Uh, he probably hasn't got around to it yet. Oh, don't tell me, I just lost another one. Oh, we lost two yep. more. Two, two. Oh, no. We might be restarting this fortress very soon. Oh my god, cancels gather plants. Horrified. They're all just, oh, uh, so what we're witnessing here is the beginning of a downward spiral. Yes. Well, at least this one had the decency of dying outside. <laughs> well, oh no, dead oh, child. No. So it's for bronze healed. Wait, we can reclaim this. <laughs> I mean, we could reclaim it, but it's gonna be full of like corpses and stuff. Uh, minor details. Okay. At best, at least right now, you are making drink, so some will survive. Oh, oh no. no. Needs empty bucket. That's the Cancels animals. water. Give water. Oh, okay. Uh, They're some... trying to get... Oh, jeez. We've got dwarves throwing so tantrums. Uh, oh, yeah. Woodcrafters trying to get raving oh. mad. There we go. <laughs> it's too late now. Oh, the fey guy went mad. Yep. The ticking time bomb exploded. Oh, hey. At least these guys are still working. They're the bestest. I think we should call it. Wait, you still have functional dwarves with sane minds. Just seal off the hall. <laughs> Let the rest of them in there die off. And never open it again. Yeah, I think we're gonna call it here. Alright, uh... We're going to cut for a moment. When we come back, we'll have a brand new, far less fail fortress to give a try at. All right, we're back. We've designed where we're going to be starting this time. And this time, I'm not going to suck. So, you have arrived. After a journey from the mountain homes into the forbidding wilderness beyond, your harsh trek has finally ended. Your party of seven is to make an outpost for the glory of all Rakusticor. There are almost no supplies left, but with stout labor comes sustenance. Whether by bolt, plow, or hook, provide for your dwarves. You are expecting a supply caravan just before winter entombs you, but it is spring now. Enough time to delve secure lodgings, ere the dingoes get hungry. A new chapter of dwarven history begins here at this place. Mabdugnabar Ralath. Ill wishes the lamentation. Strike the earth. And thus it begins. <laughs> Did the uh, volume increase? It sounds a little louder in my headphones there. No. No? Oh, okay. We're All right. recording this. I know. Doesn't right. matter. We're not professionals. <laughs> <laughs> so. Just want to make sure gun. that our viewers can hear your beautiful voice. My beautiful voice. You know, they say I have uh -huh. a voice for radio and a face to match. Uh. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> so, with that horrible joke out of the way. Where do we begin? Alright. How do Where do we begin? Alright. 
So, first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to get the basic workshops up and running again. Uh, since the rivers are kind of frozen over, we're probably going to want to tell the guys who usually go around fishing to just not do that All right, right now. Alright, so there is one problem. Okay. Currently, none of the dwarves are actually doing anything. We need to assign them jobs. <sighs> Oh, fantastic! All right. So. Uh, so we're gonna want is yeah. Okay, so we're gonna start off with trying to get ourselves a woodcutter. Hmm. You there? You will cut wood. Yes. He lacks the wood. Hmm. Yeah. We want the uh, two miners. Yeah, definitely. Let's see. What else do we need? Should totes make one of them a chick instead of them both being dudes? You know, there's always love to be found in the uh, the underground. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so we got that. We got that. Are you gonna need an herbalist? Uh, herbalist or collection? Plant gathering. There it is. Yep. Um, I don't know if we want a dedicated hauler right now, but. Probably. Well, they should all be capable of hauling. Where's hauling? Hauling is in here somewhere. It might be at the very end. It's uh, sort of like a miscellaneous job, really. Yeah, there we go. Food hauling. Okay, yeah, they, hauling. they can all already yeah. do it. Oh, okay. And all selected. Uh, uh, let's see here. I'm gonna worry about fishing. Should we, we definitely... worry okay, about so fishing? Okay, so it's a. No, because the rivers are frozen right now. So let's not distract them with that. Okay. Uh, plant processing, I think, falls in brewing? No. Or is that getting the seeds from them? I think that's getting the seeds from the plants. Yeah, we can have some D do both. Yeah. Uh, you could probably dedicate one of them to being a farmer, so you could just start getting your farm set up. They just won't be able to do anything. Yeah. You're gonna need someone's gonna handle the animals. So animal care probably. It's uh, closer to the beginning there. It's the green section, lime green. Yeah. I don't want to care for the or... animals. The animals are detriment. I want them all murdered. Yeah, I know, but you need to put them somewhere first. All right, that looks good to start. Uh, what? Yeah, it looks good. Okay. Uh, yeah. We'll just set them as we go. Yeah, make them a woodcrafter as well. Okay. Okay. So. Alright, so what you probably want to do is designate a zone to put your animals in so you can start to see where things are. Okay. Let's... Yeah. Mm, just right here should be fine. So yeah, that's okay. gonna be z -z -z zone, 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 zones, zones. There you go. And then you animals gotta assign all the animals go to it. Here. How do we have so few Oh that's why we had so many points. Yeah. Okay. Um now the next thing we're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna designate some your woodcutter to go start chopping down some trees ahead of time. Yeah, let me uh, figure out where we're gonna put the fortress. Yeah, that's true too. Okay. That's a good spot. It's too bad there's no... Oh yeah, there is a command to do it. You just start with your first selection and then go down a few layers. Yep. And pick the second selection and should just do I it. That's Nice. <coughs> Thing we're so we want some yeah. trees chopped as well. Yeah. The other thing we're going to want to do is just make sure... There, I guess it's because we didn't have a depot set up. That's why they just couldn't find anything. Well, okay, so the trade depot is actually something I know a decent amount about. 
So, for okay. example, if I wanted to build a trade depot. Trade depot. Let's say That's I wanted to just structure. put it right there. Plop it there. Yeah. Um, the important thing to note is that the depot itself... Oh, that used your pig iron, eh? Yes. The depot itself requires a path way of a certain width from the edge of the map all the way to the depot for your traders to be able to successfully make it. If there's no path to the depot, it can fail just as well. That's right. Alright, so let's get these dwarves running around. The other thing I'd suggest doing is... Uh... Now that you've got the miners going in and uh, digging up your stairway, uh, I'd recommend taking this time to also start laying out the rooms ahead of time. Yes, I just wanted to get to some I guess. solid material. Yeah, that makes sense. I think we already hit some coal as well, which is nice. Oh, excellent. Obsidian. Oh. That's good stuff right there. That sounds like a nifty material to be building out of. Fortunately, that doesn't mean that there's a nearby source of lava. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this does not follow Minecraft rules, thankfully. Gonna be a workshop. That's gonna be a workshop. So, what workshops do we need to start? We need a wood shop, a stone shop, a still. Yes, a kitchen. We're also going to want to look at, uh, now these aren't workshops, but you want to get lodgings for your dwarves as soon as possible so that they have a comfortable place to go to sleep. Don't let them fall asleep on the ground like I did the last time. <laughs> Alright, so... them get to work on that. Now we need plants. We also need dwarves that are capable of smoothing out stone. So let's see. Yeah. Stone um, you know what? I guess it doesn't make much sense to designate stockpile right now for wood, but let's just make work right now. How many picks did you take along with you? Did you take like twice as many? I took two picks. Just two picks, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why not they cute? They've become miners. Their, their mighty beards have twisted up above their heads into a hardened helmet, into a true dwarven form. Clear out one Jeep of that the spaces, twang. please. Just, just one of them. Thank you. Being picky about it. Uh, okay, good. They all have the detailing job. Yep. No point in having idle dwarves. Okay. 
So as long as we're waiting for things to happen, um, this, this episode is being recorded on the 10th. And for those of you who live under a rock, e.g. dwarves, um, Fallout 4 just came out. Now, I own Fallout 4. I could be playing it right now, but I wanted to do this. But oh my gosh, talk about an awesome game. It is everything I've hoped for so far. It's a lot of fun and it looks great. So, I, I'm thinking I might record some episodes of Fallout 4 eventually. It, I'm not going to do it right away. I do want to at least play through the game once myself first. Uh, mm -hmm. But after that, hopefully I might get into making some Fallout 4 episodes. So, what workshop do we want first? All right, that's a good question. Um, well, even before we can get to the still, you're going to need barrels. So I'm thinking a carpenter's workshop might be a good idea. Okay. So we'll make this one the carpenter's workshop. workshop. There you go. And we will build it out of... Look at all that obsidian just lying around. I kind of want it to stand out, though. Okay. I think I'll build it out of sand pair wood logs. Now, up here is where the quantum storage for that is going to go when we get around to making that, but that's not going to be an immediate priority. So, last I heard about your progress with uh, Fallout, you have already gotten to the point where you're starting to construct your own uh, town, I think it was? So, yes, I've... to... do the best I can not to spoil anything for anybody who may be watching this, I've, in classic Fallout fashion, left the vaults and gone out and exploring, and one of the cool features in Fallout 4 is the ability to create your own towns that people will come and live in. And not just in a sense that there's a gathering of buildings and you um, fill those buildings with people. It's to the point where there's this town-like area that you can actually go in and piece by piece construct buildings for people to stay in. You can construct workshops. You can pretty much construct anything you want, really. Uh, and depending on the size of your uh, village that you create, there will be different demands on energy and water and all that good stuff. Um, and depending on how big and lucrative your village becomes, uh, it could fall under attack by raiders, which means you'll need to defend it. Um, so that that's... That's mostly what I've played with so far. Now, another big feature that people have been freaking out over is uh, the power armor. Because they kind of made that like the front and center of all of the trailers and everything. You see this cool power armor hanging on some kind of almost engine lift looking thing. And you're like, oh man, I want that power armor. Except... I tend to play sneaky characters. The last thing I want is a giant clunky piece of armor that gives away my position. So I have the power armor, I just haven't done much with it. Um, okay. So I have it there, it's just not really doing anything. Oh, alright, so it's just chilling out in your garage, you're like, oh, look at the big clinker. And that's about it. Yeah, that's about it, really. Um, yeah. So, um, you got all the mildling up there. I know, <laughs> I'm trying to... Well, not right now, but... Alright, so... That takes care of the carpenter shop. We are still going to need stone mason, still, all of that good stuff. What should my first priority be, though? Oh, your streams are open. 
Yep, it is oh. the 25th of Dwarven January, whatever you want to call that. Now it's really? the 26th of Dwarven January. <laughs> uh, you know what my obsession is? What? Fish! <laughs> All right, so. I went back and looked over the last episode there and uh, noticed how many times I kept repeating or reiterating everything about fish, 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 fish. <laughs> You'd start to think I had an obsession or something. Nah. So what are we building here? So, here I am... ...planning out some storage rooms for... ...food and alcohol. Oh, okay. You should probably take the detailing off your miners. No, uh. Just so they'll uh, get a jump on it. I don't need to take the detailing off the miners. I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't ever put the detailing <laughs> on the miners. I wouldn't have done such a silly thing. You don't know what you're talking about. You can't see it right now, but I you have door therapist up. <laughs> Lies! The viewers will know I had Dwarf Therapist up. You won't, though. What? <laughs> How does that even work? The magic of editing! Uh, you, you can't edit real life. I most certainly can. So are none of them building this? Are none of them... Uh, oh, carpentry. Hold on, let me bring that up again. Where's... Did we not assign anyone to the job? Where is carpentry? Oh. oh. Why is... Okay, you know what? You're just gonna do all the wood-related tasks. How about that? There you go. We'll take you off, a de off the detailing crew for now. See, I thought he was just waiting for uh, someone to come around and take all that stone out of the way. Nah. No. Oh. Tree shop. Um, build workshop. Still, it's gonna go right here. We'll make it out of sand, pear, wood logs. We'll make sure that he has direct access to that. Okay, so, um, I'll get some quantum storage going right now. So that's going to be build, track, stop. Direction should be, sure, let's drop to the east. Actually, while you have it paused here for the construction, uh, you keep focusing on that. But the next thing I think you should take a look at is trying to get some farm plots put down. Now that the uh, rivers have opened up, that should give you access to fresh water to do stuff with. <coughs> yes, the ever difficult job of actually creating a farm plot. Um, yeah. <laughs> that's something I've done many times, and it's never stopped being annoying. So we will take care of that shortly. First, let me finish making these stockpiles. Custom settings. Stone. Gems. What are these additional options? So 
So that's receiving. That is that one. Now I need to go into the settings. We'll only take from links. No wheelbarrows allowed. No bins allowed. There we go. And this is allowed. Sure, one wheelbarrow. That seems fine to me. Now here. Yeah, once you've done one fortress, all the things that you did in the last fortress become really practiced. You can do them really quickly in the next one. So, there clearly go. we just need to fail at enough fortresses, and we should be good. That's the typical strategy. Alright, so... I think this is a good place to stop this episode. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, please consider subscribing. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.